Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to archive things, web pages, that is, using MHT files. Now, as you know from using the internet for any period of time, things disappear from the internet constantly. Forum posts get deleted, websites go down, blog posts get deleted. You know how it works. You probably even have some favorites or bookmarks that you, uh, when you go there, they're not they don't exist anymore and there's no Google cache so there's no way to get it back and you say to yourself oh, damn I, I could have used that documentation or whatever was on that web page well anyway when you use MHTs you cache a local copy of it and you can uh, pull it up at any time locally off your hard drive USB stick or if you push it through CD or however you do it in Internet Explorer 8 the way to do it using the PC Mac homepage as an example is to press the alt key to bring up your menu bar and click file and then save as and the standard format is the web archive which is an MHT if you don't see it just drop down the menu here and you'll see web archive as one of the choices I'm gonna put it on the desktop and save take just a second to save the uh, page here because the home page is rather large for the PC Mac This is true of any web page, by the way, that has some good length to it. It'll take a second for it to save it. So anyway, that's all done. And then I'll just blank this for a second and then minimize. Here is the archive right here. The icon for it in Windows Vista in 7 has a white page with a little yellow goldish frame around it. And if I double click it, this is loading everything from my hard drive. None of this is pulled from the Internet whatsoever which is great. So at any time that you click it, it will show exactly as it was, as if you were browsing it via the internet. If you scroll down, everything is exactly the same. It's fantastic the way that it works. Now in the Firefox browser, let's bring that up, it does not have native ability to do MHT files, so what you need to do is install a plugin called UnMHT. If you want to find it, just go to Google and search for UNMHT, and the uh, first search result is goes right to the add-on directory, and then you just install it after that, and this is what it looks like. There are a couple of advantages to using it the Firefox way. First of all, it's platform independent, meaning it will work on Windows, OS 10, or Linux, or Unix. And uh, second of all, it has the ability to save all tabs that are currently open, which is absolutely fantastic. I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. If I go to PCMac.com and then I go to Microsoft and then Apple and then Ubuntu, four different tabs, Ubuntu, Apple, Microsoft, PC Mac. You can use, once you install on the MHT, you can right click on any page and do save as MHT or file and then save as MHT. But the cool thing is when you do the file method from here, there's another option, save all tabs as MHT. I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, what it does is that it gives you a list. You can uncheck a few if you want to, and then you choose where to save it. I'm going to put it on the desktop. You can have it as separated files or a single file. It's better to have the single file. Save as MHT current state. That's the one you want. And then you just name it. So I'll call it just test and save. It will crunch all these web pages into a single file. Then you hit OK. And let me just bring this into view here. There's Everything is in this single file here. The... Um, the default file association is for the Internet Explorer browser, so I'm going to bring that up. And the great thing about it is that it divides them into little links. So if I hit the PC Mac one first, this is loaded directly from the archive. Do the Microsoft one. Now you notice that I don't have everything in here. And the reason for that, I did that on purpose, is to show you that it will not save Silverlight or Flash content. It won't do that. But it will save everything else. And then the Apple page shows all that stuff which is great and finally the Ubuntu page all this is being loaded from the archive 
and that's great absolutely wonderful I could email this to anybody uh, this would be especially cool for web designers out there if you're designing a template or something like that and you want the uh, the client you're working for to see the test template you could just send an MHT file it's absolutely fantastic the way that it works now what I could do is when you install on MHT you can read files in the Firefox browser you either have to go and reset the file association for MHTs to Firefox or the easier way is to just have Firefox open I'll show you how it's done let me just do a blank page here and then what I can do is simply drag it in like this and it will load all the tabs up at once this is all loaded from the MHT file and that's the way that it works. I personally believe this is the best possible way to archive web pages. It saves everything except for the flash content, like I said. Um, but if you have a, a forum post you want to archive, any web page that you want to archive and you want to be able to especially uh, retrieve it later or share it out, email it or rapid share it or whatever you want to do, you can uh, do MHTs and it will work fantastic. Um, remember though that for operating systems that don't have Internet Explorer, such as Mac OS X and Linux and Unix, it is better to use Firefox and use the un-MHT extension, then you can read MHTs no problem. And that's it. Take it easy.